Getting our first look tonight at final plans for a major development, one that's expected to bring more retail shops over to Austin's east side. KXAN's Lauren Kravitz gives us a glimpse of the Saltillo project that's supposed to revitalize the area east of I-35. Neighborhoods changed quite a bit since we moved in. RC Beal has been in business for more than 15 years near East 5th Street. He owns Texas Coffee Traders. RC hops in his golf cart to get around the area. Driving over to one of the warehouses and kind of pulling into the front and getting out and talking to people that have been around for 20 years. That's something that could change with the Plaza Saltillo project. Several businesses that have been in this area for years will be gone. The developer wants to put new retail space, office space, and apartments. The plan is to transform 10 acres along East 5th and 4th Streets between I-35 and Comal. 15% of the units will be affordable housing, there is a, but there's a broad range. Yes, we have a lot of people to serve. I think affordable housing is important. The nature of the area is that it's so close to downtown in the entertainment district. Affordable is going to be tough. RC believes the project will dramatically change a unique east side vibe by making it more upscale. I think it's great, but at the same time, some of us have a hard time with change. Artists that are in here. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. And the Capital Metro Board is expected to vote on the development agreement on Monday. And if it's approved, construction would start early next year and last about two and a half years. Meantime, supporters of the Workers' Defense Project held a protest outside Capital Metro. They say they're concerned the project could be awarded to a developer they say has been fined for unsafe working conditions in Austin. The group says Cap Metro should make sure workers are paid a fair wage, get safety training, and have independent on site monitoring during construction. And taking a closer look now, Plaza Saltillo has a lot of history. It served as Austin's train depot for 100 years until it was abandoned in the 1980s. Capital Metro bought the property in 1995. The plan then was to incorporate it into future light rail service. In 1997, the city started leasing an acre of land for a plaza named after Austin's sister city, Saltillo, in the Mexican state of Wawila.